students last class we did multiplying by a one digit number next we did multiplying by two digit number and third we are going to do multiplying by a three digit number okay so first let's just revise it revise with one digit two digit then only again we will be learning about three digit okay it's just for revision okay let's learn how to multiply by one digit number once again okay just for revision okay let's multiply always you know it always you need to rem start from one's place so once in one's place there is one okay so you need to multiply with four four ones are four four fives are twenty yes so four fives are twenty and you know it the number which is at the right side you need to write down and the number in the left side you need to carry over carry over to the next number yes so this two goes to the hundreds place okay now four multiply two equals to eight eight and eight plus two you know it you need to add when there is a carryover so 8 plus 2 equals to 10 so 0 you can write here 1 you cannot write on the top as there is no number in thousands place here so you need to write here okay now this was with one digit number now let's try with two digit number so I just added 2 here nothing will nothing you are going to change already with four you have finished multiplying now let's do it with two two is there in tens place so we need to start from tens place not from ones place so ones place we are just going to cross it you don't need to write anything now two ones are two two fives are ten 10 0 is at right side so 0 comes here 1 is at left side so 1 goes on the top here this is gone okay this you don't need to count because this was with 4 no when you multiplied with 4 2 was carry over now you don't need this you need 1 okay that's why you can write with write this with pencil no problem so 2 Multiply by 2 equals to 4. And 4 plus 1 equals to 5. So you need to write 5 here. Then when you multiplied, you got only 3 digits. With 4, when you multiplied, you got 4 digits. There is no problem at all. Okay. So when you multiply, as you, if it is 2 digits, then you can write here. No problem okay now let's try with three digit number now i have written here three digit one two four okay now you don't need to be confused now you can see one is at which place hundreds place that means we have to start from hundred we don't need to write anything in ones place and anything in tens place that's why we are going to cross it okay now as one is at hundreds place we will write one multiply one equals to one one multiply five equals to five and one multiply two equals to two now after doing this what is the next step yes it you need to add at the last so four plus zero plus zero equals to four 0 plus 2 equals to 2, 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 1, 5 plus 5 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11. So 1, 1 on the top, 2 plus 1 equals to 3. 
that means when you multiply 251 by 124 you get 31124 i hope you understood let's take one more example Okay, I have written the question as 105 multiplied by 4. Okay, now we will be multiplying this. Once again, for the last revision, 4 multiply 5 equals to 20. 0 is at right side, so right here. And 2 is at the left side, so you are going to write on the top. Correct. After writing 2 here, you need to multiply 4 with 0. So 4 multiplied by 0, always remember 4 multiplied by 0 is always 0. Okay. With 0, if you add 2, you need to add the carryover. So add 2. So when you add, you get the answer 2. So you write 2 here. 4 multiply 1 equals to 4. I hope this is clear for you. 1, 0, 4. 5 multiplied by 4. 4, 5s are 20. 0 you wrote here. 2 on the top. 4 multiply 0 is 0. And when you add 2, you get always 2. So 2, 4 multiply 1 equals to 4. This, this much is clear. Now we will do with 2 digit number. So I just added 3 other everything is same okay so 2 is at tens place so we will start from here as 3 is in tens place so we will start from here this side we have already crossed okay now 3 multiplied by 5 so 3 multiplied by 5 equals to 15 5 is at the right side so 5 here 1 should be here in the tens place correct in tens place now three zeros are 3 into 0 equals to 0 and if you add 1 with 0 you are going to get 0 so write 1 here 3 multiply 1 equals to 3 clear okay let's do another number with 5 now three digit number okay now five is at hundreds place so we will write here once column cross tens column cross we don't need to write anything here five multiply five equals to 25 five right side is at right side so five here two is at left side so two is going to be written here correct five zeros are zero five zeros are zero plus two equals to two so you will go you'll be writing two here five multiply one equals to five after that the last step you need to add zero plus zero only this one the line you can see this line and this line so between these two lines whatever numbers are there you need to add okay you don't need to look after this this is already over you have already multiplied it's over you don't need to look after this now only between these two lines you need to add 0 5 plus 2 equals to 7 4 plus 1 6 sorry 4 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 10 so 0 and 1 on the top not this side okay you need to pass it to the next number so after 1 4 3 plus 1 equals 4 4 plus 2 is 6 and here it's 5 that means when you multiply 105 multiplied by 534 
you get answer 56,070. Okay, this is the way how to solve one digit number, two digit number and then the three digit number is also same. Okay, if it is thousand, then again we'll start from thousands place in the next step. So one by one, you have to do it. Okay, I hope you understood.